And a very good morning to everybody. Welcome to Ignition Radio here with me, James Atkinson, here from 10 till 12 this morning. And we're very lucky uh, to have uh, Tweedy or Alan Digweed the Clown here this morning. Are you there, Alan? I am, yes. Good morning. Good morning. Very good to have you on the show this morning. How are you? I'm uh, very well, thank you, yes. Thank you. Um, just a quick question then, firstly, moving in. Uh, what's it? Tell me a little bit about your, uh, your circus then, and what makes uh, Cirque du Soleil different from all the other circuses? Um, well, it's a brand new show, and it's bringing um, thrill acts, lots of the dangerous acts, to the proscenium stage, which have never been um, put in a theatre before. You know, you get circuses in the theatre, but not like this one. Um, the main one being the Globe of Death, which is where we have the big metal globe with four motorbikes whizzing round it about 60 miles an hour and narrowly missing each other, um, along with springboard acts and things like that. It's basically acts that have never been seen in the theatre before. And um, there's no ringmaster. It's just a continuous kind of flow of exciting and thrilling acts. That sounds fantastic, and especially uh, the, the, the globe of death there, as you described, does sound something that's not to be a miss. But uh, what decided to make you want to become a clown and become into the, the circus business? Um, I, I always had a love of Laurel and Hardy since growing up, and, and kind of Buster Keaton and, and people like that. And um, the circus is the only place you can get that physical comedy nowadays, so that's where I learned my craft, as you would say. I, I joined the circus, and... Um, learned how to fail in front of an audience. What a fantastic way of putting it uh, in your own words. But uh, So what kind of clown are you? What sort of acts do you kind of uh, portray to the, to the, to the audience? Um, in, in Cirque Berserk, what I do is I kind of, I try and join in with the show. So the acts that I do, um, they do have a certain amount of skill and danger to them, but I'm, I'm not very good at them. You know, I, I use a kind of slapstick element in trying to do what the other acts do and I think that's why it works really because it's a character people can relate to you know a lot of the acts you see it's hard to comprehend because they're so kind of um, fantastic you know daring and you kind of think well there's no way I could ever do that whereas when I attempt to do things people look at it and think well that's probably what I would be like if I tried to do that um, I usually do manage to do the trick in the end but in my own kind of unusual way you kind of make your own sort of character personality of like what a fantastic yes. way, what a fantastic way of uh, of doing it. Uh, many clowns trademark their face paint with, on an egg with uh, the egg registry. Have you, have you done this? I have, yes. Oh, fantastic. Uh, they're, they're, they're currently on display in Wookie Hole. Something we can enough. Something <laughs> definitely uh, go and have a uh, have a look at. Do you perform as a clown every day of the week, or is it just like a like a part time job you you do? No, it's been my full time job for over twenty years now. Oh, so fantastic! So I love love for you there. Then uh, yes. Uh, so has your has your clown performance changed over the years? Have you been doing it? Has your sort of majority stayed the same? Um, no, they, they they've evolved um, and and hopefully got better over the years. Um, when I first started, I I was very much a traditional clown. I wore the the, the big makeup and the big shoes and things like that. <coughs> Ooh, sorry, excuse me. Whereas now I'm more of a character. Um, you know, I take my influences more from the likes of Lauren Hardy and people like that. Um, so I, I feel like I'm always learning all the time. So what what do you do to kind of make yourself sort of? What do you do to ad- identify yourself? How do you make your own kind of? You know, personality of like what 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 do you kind of focus on? People I think ah, oh, that's that's Tweedy the clown if you if you like. Well, the, the thing with clowning it, it, it's very much kind of part of your own personality. Um, a lot of the time, I describe my character as being uh, me, very excited. Um, it, it's kind of the, the childlike version of of myself, and that's how it came about. That's fantastic. So what's, what's some, what are some of your favourite things that you do as a clown? What's the one things you love doing the most? I, I, I love when things go wrong. That's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of my favourite thing. And, and you kind of have to improvise your way out of it. And a, a lot of the time, my best kind of routines and, and gags have come about by accident, you know, when something goes wrong and you go along with it and then you go, actually, that worked really well. I'll keep that in for for the next time I do it. So that's kind of my favourite thing, is, is finding new things by accident. Sounds like my show and just using creative uh, creative balance when you never get it right, but it does sound like a fantastic yeah. way of looking on the bright side for, for everything. But uh, what's the best and worst things about being a clown for you? 
Um, oh, well, the best thing is obviously the the audience reaction. Um, you know, you can't you can't kind of beat that feeling of you know you know just making people laugh. Um, I, I suppose the the worst thing is that it's so physical. Um, I'm kind of constantly covered in bruises and things like that. <laughs> well, uh, how do you deal with uh, others? Color? Sorry, I can't pronounce this. Corollophobia, I think, is the way you pronounce that. How do you deal with you know the the audience? If like when it doesn't quite go right and they're, they're not as interested, if you like. Um, I mean, we all have moments like that. The whole kind of color. I can't think how you say it now. The fear of clouds. Yeah. I kind of. I'm not too bad with because, as I say, I don't wear the big makeup nowadays and so I'm, I'm not quite as frightening or what people might think of as a clown but when you know things go wrong or it's not quite working you just kind of have to move on and kind of that's one of the things I like about it is that that, that kind of challenge you know every audience is different and you know going from different towns to towns and things like that people find different things funny so you have to gauge the audience early on and kind of find where their levels at now obviously moving on to your uh, <clears throat> excuse me to your your, your your show at the forum which obviously sounds fantastic how can uh, people find out about that and what's that going to involve um well the, there's a website which is just simply circbeserk.co.uk you can go there and see some video clips you can buy tickets there things like that as i say it's a very fast paced high energy show and um not to be missed it does sound absolutely yeah, fantastic. And, then, and finally, if people are thinking of becoming a clown, what sort of advice can you give to get them into the profession or make it, or make it more of a hobby for them? Um, well, it, it's all about just getting out there and doing it, really. Find, find an audience and try things out. Like I say, it, it's all about failing, really, with clowning. You know, you find out what works. It's the same with any kind of comedy. You need the audience. You know, if you want to be a stand-up, you write some material and you get out there and see if it's funny or not. And it's the same with clowning. You know, you kind of come up with some little ideas and find an audience, whether you go in the street or you just, you know, book a hall and do a show or things like that. You need the audience at the end of the day. Now, I've read some of the reviews here from your from your sit with the show, and it's absolutely fantastic, and some some great uh, reviews there. But uh, in your in your thoughts, what's the one thing that people can really look out for? What's your sort of your, your main act for the for the circus? Um, well, one of the main talking points, like I said, is the motorbikes. Um, but it, it, it's kind of jam packed of of that kind of edge of your seat stuff. One of the highlights for me is the springboard act, which is kind of like a big seesaw that they jump off a really high tower onto and propel other guys through the air. And because it's in the theatre, it, it's so kind of condensed and squashed up that acts are literally kind of above your head or they're leaping up and just missing the lights by inches and things like that. And that's kind of the added extra thrill, I think, is that it's in the theatre that, you know, your theatre that you go to, you know, and see other things there. So to see these acts in that environment, you know, your theatre is an added bonus, I think. Yeah, it does sound absolutely fantastic, isn't it? It's definitely uh, not to miss. So if you do want, obviously, you're going to go along and uh, see the circus for yourself, you can uh, go down to Billingham Forum, or you could track the uh, Zerk Zerk website out. But, uh, and uh, we'll give you some information on that in just a second. But thank you very much uh, to Edie uh, for that. That's been fantastic. Thank you. And I hope to see you at the uh, forum very soon in your performance. Thank you very much. Thank you now. Thanks. Cheers, bye. Bye. So that was uh, Alan Tweedy there from uh, the forum, and what a fantastic way of describing uh, how to become a clown and his and his performance there. But like we say, if you do want to uh, go along to see that performance, you can in fact do it. You can go down to the uh, Cirque du Cirque website at uh, cirquezirc.co.uk, and you can book tickets online. Or in fact, you can go to www.forumtheaterbillingham.co.uk forward slash booking information. You can also give them a little phone call on zero one six four two five five five. 663 and also be running a competition from today across uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and also one day show we're giving you a chance to win some tickets your, uh, yourself so it's definitely worth looking into and that motorbike uh, Globe of Death does sound fantastic and uh, once again thank you very much to Alan uh, Digweed uh, who's Tweedy the Clown In the studio we have Fiona and Rama a very good morning to you Good morning <laughs> Good morning Good morning <laughs> Now um, as I say it's a very serious subject and and a subject that should be talked about because it's, well, 